Hey guys, this is Jackie, your nerdy crafter, and welcome to my first ever drawing video on my channel. So, for my first drawing, I am doing a Mystic Raphael. These are not the original colors, but these are the colors that you voted on on my vlog channel. So, if you're interested to see the process, make sure you check out my vlog channel. So, I am starting with some Prismacolor, uh, what are they called again? Um, alcohol markers, yes, so these are alcohol markers, and I am not an expert whatsoever. I love watching drawing videos, and I've learned from some amazing YouTubers out there. And uh, for the band-aids, well, for the bandages, I'm using just a white, also Prismacolor, and uh, these are the pencil ones because I wanted a very pure white and I didn't have one in my alcohol markers. So I just wanted to go with a pure white, even though in the cartoon it's an actual beige. And if you can see, I was going through the whole thing with a kind of Q-tip. And what it is, is just a kind of way for me to make the colors more even. If you want, you can put a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol. But again, I am not an expert and this is just a way for me to make the colors more even. So, still putting the first layer down of uh, all the basic colors. At first I really thought that I would go through the color pencils on top of all the Copic and Prismacolor alcohol markers, but I ended up changing my mind because I only decided to do that for the green, as you're going to see later on. So, this is all that I can say for this part until I start putting the second layer and I'll tell you guys what I do on there. I would love to hear your input. Like I said, this is my first ever coloring video and I would love to play and experiment around with all sorts of different medium and I'm a huge fan of cartoons and making up stuff that doesn't always have to make sense but I just want to have fun and eventually maybe integrate these more often. So I'm just showing here the colors that I was going to use as an overlay, but I did say that I did change my mind because I wanted to do just the green with the pencils. So I wasn't quite sure at first how to go about the uh, overlay of the pencils on top of the green, but I went in with a dark and then I smoothed it out with a Q-tip just to kind of make it more even. As you can see, some of the green does come out and I find it does help. If you look at the video, you'll see that there is a kind of smoothing out of the colors. And for this drawing, I really wanted a really dark feel to it. I didn't want it to be a happy, kind of uh, cartoony, I guess. I wanted more of a comic book feel to it. And um, this overlay of the darker green, I find that it was a little too dark, so I need to smooth that one in. If I could go back and change it, I would probably go a little lighter, but now that the video is over, I did kind of go over it with more of rubbing alcohol and Q-tips, so the color has evened out. So it was a little too much for that. So these are the two greens that I did use. And um, that was pretty much the process for the green. And it does pop out and it gives it a really cool sheen. And that was just me saying hello <laughs> to you guys. I was having so much fun coloring and it's so relaxing. I, I had completely forgotten how it feels to color. I used to color so much more when I was younger and now that, you know, there's all schoolwork and work and all these different things, you kind of get distracted and it's so much fun to sit down and color. So if you guys haven't colored for the longest time, go for it. It's so much fun. Now, for this part of the shell, I changed, well, I added a second layer of the yellow and then I added a darker yellow. What I'm going to do is, in the description box below, I'll list all the colors that I've used and um, the second colors <laughs> on top of it to make the shading. Now, I didn't do highlights on this one because I figured that the highlights were the lighter-ish colors on top because I had very dark shading. So if you look at the picture, it was inked with Copic Multiliners. So the shading is black. So it goes from black to a darker color to a somewhat lighter dark color. So this is the kind of shades I wanted to go for, very dark comic book feel to it. And um, I was debating 
for the grills on the arms if I wanted to put some silver in there but then I tried it on the uh, on the sample that I was coloring and I didn't like the look of it and I also thought of doing a colorless blender look but again I didn't like the look of that so I decided mm, I'll change my mind and just keep the black liner as the separation so that was pretty much it and um, I don't know how you guys feel about it tell me what you think because as I said this was voted though the color schemes were voted by you guys and I have to say that I do agree I really love the darker shades as opposed to the lighter ones I will put the link of the survey that you guys voted on on my vlog channel in case you wanted to see and check out my vlog channel if you want to see more possible color schemes for future projects and uh, that way you can take a vote and see the awesome stuff that we can create together Oh yes, for the actual, uh, I guess, weapons, I did use a silver Prismacolor pencil color. And uh, it was pretty cool, I really love the set that I got, but the only issue is that I actually didn't have any silvers for there. So, But I did have, hang on, I didn't have any greys, but I did have the metallic silver, which was really cool. Now, just to kind of make everything pop out even more so, because I am using a tan paper, and this paper is not a recommended paper for uh, alcohol markers, but it works. It bleeds in the back, but that's why I use it because I really like the colors to stick out. What I'm doing right now is using a jelly roll to make a white border to make everything stick out even more so. And I really love the look. I'm just using also a regular ink pen to sign NCJ, Nerdy Crafter. Jackie at the bottom. I love the look of that signature, so I'm going to be keeping it. And here's the final result, the final look of my Raphael. But I did change that top part, as you can see the, the kind of gradient was a little too rough, so I did fix that after the video because I got a chance to look at it after and I was like, mm, not too sure about it. So let me know what you guys think. I will try my best to answer questions, but like I said, I am not an expert at this. This is my first time really working on a huge piece like this. And um, <laughs> coloring is not as... Um, it's pretty much a dirty thing too, because... Not dirty, it's a messy thing. So you can see my desk is pretty messy. You have all the crayons, all the pencils, all the things kind of all over the place. And, uh, but I had so much fun, and uh, let me know what you guys think. I hope to make more of these. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you on Thursday.